Welcome to all of you. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the utility of the open form that is called as a topo set. Before starting the tutorial, we should know that uh, this is the website where you can find some of the content related to open form. And it has been nicely explained on this website. You can just go to the main page and you can find the different content written here. Okay. So I will suggest you that you can follow this page if you want to learn some basics about the open form. Now let's start uh, explaining these topics in more depth. That is a topo set. So before starting the topo set uh, tutorial, so let me tell you that what is the topo set. So topo set works on a already generated messings in a given test case. Okay, so if the poly mesh folder of the constant folder is present in a given test case then this topo set is going to be used okay and uh, how it can be used and what are the different application that we will explore while going to the terminal but here i can i should tell you that these are the different commands that it, you can use okay so like dict if you have a specific dictionary related to topo set dict then this dict command you can use and uh, you can clearly select a given time and if you want to do this topo set command for a specific time folder then this command you can use this command you can use for the latest time step this is the means uh, you want to go to the constant directory in the time list uh, time list then this can be included using this constant uh, command you can use the distopo set command in the parallel simulation also so these are the different this is the reason is command when you have a multi region type of problem and this is the command that is the if you want to simulate this topo set dict from a different test case folder to the different test case so maybe i can explain some of this command in when we go to the terminal folder these are the different tutorials you can find uh, uh, in open form and generally in general this topo set dict folder should be present in the system folder but that is not mandatory so if you this topo set dict folder is present in some other other folder like zero folder or constant folder or even outside this zero constant and topo system folder then this command you can use and you can use this topo set dict directory but in general this should be present in the system folder this is the general dictionary of the topo set dict this is the just one example and you can select the number of cells number of faces and uh, number of points okay so there are different type of sources to select a given cell face or points and uh, these different types are given here in this space so like if you want to select only cell sets so these are the different options to select a cells okay so for example here you if you select a box so whatever the cells present in a given box this will be selected okay now this you can select from using a cell set and this uh, some of the examples i will give you uh, just uh, stick to the uh, uh, this complete tutorial here you can select a cylinder to cells so if in a given uh, means means minimum min and max of the cylinder and a given radius the number of cells uh, fall within this cylinders it is going to be selected by using this command this is the face to cell so if we have a select uh, some faces and whatever the cells have this face this those cells can be selected using this face to cell command okay so these are the commands that you can use this face zone to cell is another command 
so different commands are given here and uh, we cannot explore all these commands so some of the important uh, command out of this topo set i can going to explore you. i can explain you okay so this is the something related to cell set sources so if you have a cell set sources or cell zone sources then you can work in this uh, in this scenario you can also select the face set so these are the some command related to the face set and of course there is a face zone set sources is also present something that is point set sources so uh, this uh, point sources are important when you have a simulated a dynamic mesh motion kind of things is there then this point sources is applicable there and they can also say collect the point zone set sources so these things we are going to explore uh, explore in the while we are going to work on the terminal so let's uh, go to the terminal and let's see that how these things can be defined in a topo set dict and what are the various application related to the topo set hello friends we are now in the open ubuntu terminal so let me open a new terminal here and let me just uh, zoom in Okay, so now I have uh, this Ubuntu terminal. Let me just create the Open Form Six environment. Sorry. Let me just create the Open Form Six environment. Now I can find all the tutorials related to the topo set just by typing this find. So it will this find command will go to the form tutorials. and it is going to find the all the tutorials that have the name topo set dict okay so you can see that these are the different com, different tutorials that contains this topo set dict folder okay so these are the different tutorials you can go to the this tutorial langrange and you can find these are the tutorials that contains the topo set dict in the langrange these are the something that is containing the combustion cases okay now in the multi region cases also you can find this topo set dict tutorial multi phase examples are also given and some of the tutorials you can find here in the incompressible folder okay so first let's let's start with the simple case that is related to the incompressible okay so here we are going to start with the incompressible test case and then we will go to the some of the examples related to the multi region okay now let's start from the basic example so that is the simple case that is here uh, given here in the simple form this is the pipe cyclic and system and there is a topo set dict folder okay so i am going to copy this test case in our uh, where we are working so this is the open form 6 uh, folder here i have created one folder related to the topo set dict so now i am going to copy that test case here let me just zoom in a little bit okay and uh, so i am going to copy cp minus r form tutorials and uh, incompressible okay and now from incompressible simple form then pipe cyclic that test case we are going to copy here simple form and pipe cyclic okay sorry we have to specify the destination so if we want to copy the total complete folder in the present destination then this dot should be written here so now you can see others this pipe cyclic test case has been copied here okay now if you see the folder structure so here this block mesh dict is going to create a mesh where using this topo set dict we are going to select some cells okay so here you can find that okay let me open in the genie editor so that we can zoom in zoom in these things so here you can see that this is the structure of the topo set dict okay so here you can see 
this axon and this is the structure that should be written here okay so what i mean to say that so let me open a new uh, text file so what i mean to say that see this is the by default structure that should be written here so this is the by default that should be always copied here when you are you want to create any form dictionary this is the format should be present here now out of this this action okay so this action command should be written here so this is the uh, let me just uh, save it in the present so we are saving it as a topo topo set dict dot one okay so you can save it with a any type of name and how you are going to use this uh, we will i will show uh, while running the case finally okay so this is the default structure so uh, topo set you have to start with the dictionary name this is the default uh, open form dictionary structure and this action should be written here and whatever the action you want to perform either you want to create new cells or you want to select new faces this action should be written in this uh, this action uh, this closed bracket okay now let's see that what is uh, doing we are doing here so we are creating a some face set from patch okay so this is the command that is a patch to face okay so it is going to select some faces from the given patch and it is going to name it as a f node okay so let me just uh, do it by do it step by step then it will be more clear to you okay so this this complete complete structure that i have written here it is going to do one job what it will do it will just select whatever the faces is present in a given patch that faces has going to be selected and it is going to be named as the f node and this is performed the first time that is the why it is written as a new okay so this source uh, it is going to ask that from which patch you want to select the faces so the name of the patch is the slide one, side one okay so this is the task that it is going to perform so let me write here what i want to uh, convey here so uh we are performing first task to select faces from a patch so that is why this new is written here because we are selecting faces from the patch for the first time that is why this action new has been given here okay so what different action we can perform that we will see so there are some different action has been written so this is the new task that is why new is written here now the source from which it is selecting the faces it is written here in the name of the side one okay so side one is the source okay so whatever the source we want to provide this things you, you need to retain in these things okay so this is the just selecting the faces that is why it is written as the face set okay now when you run this topo set it, it is going to uh, collect all the faces from this patch that is a side one now if we want to select only few faces from this given patch or given faces a number of 
faces it will, it will be selected so if you want to collect only few number of faces from a given box then this second command is useful for that purpose okay so what i mean to say that okay suppose this will select uh, a number of cell that is uh, around suppose n1 cell it has been selected now out of this n1 i want to only few number of cells or few number of faces then this subset command is useful here so now you can see here that we are not creating any new uh, command from here we are just uh, using this subset command to select only the those faces which falls under the this box okay so whatever the faces will be falls under this box it will be selected from this f not okay now let me run this command then you will understand what i want to say here what i want to convey here so first let me turn off this okay then it will be easy to under, uh, explain you so let me just turn off this and let me open so here is our tutorial case so first we will uh, create the open form environment then i will run the block mesh so block mesh will create the meshing okay now if i run topo set okay so remember here if i am going to run the test topo set so let me write uh, help so these are the different uh, things that you can use with the topo set command so this case directory constant dict that i already saw so you on the open form wiki.net so here if i just run the topo set then it is going to run this dictionary that is present here this topo set dict okay so if i just run here if i type here topo set it only then it is going to run this dictionary that is present in the system folder so that is why i told you that by default the topo set dict folder should be present in the system folder however if you want to use another dictionary so for example i am i want to use this topo set dict one then in such scenario this dict command is helpful here so i can type here topo set dict so now i have typed that this topo set command should be use whatever the dictionary which i am going to provide here okay so i can provide here topo set dict dot one okay so this dictionary i can provide here which is present here now if i run okay so you can see here this it is saying that mess is not changed so mess is kept as it it is going to create a face set in the name of the f not okay it is going to convert the patch into the faces and all the faces related to the patch side one and the total number of faces is a 251 okay so if you open the constant folder in the poly mesh these are the something related to the meshing and here this topo set has created the sets in the name of name of f not and if you open this folder you can see here that there are 250 faces has been selected okay now let me uh, turn on this now so then you will see that what is the difference between this new and this subset okay so remember i told you that this is going to select all the faces related to the patch side one this subset is going to select only those faces which falls under this box okay so this is the something like this mean okay this is the points of the minimum of a given box and this is the maximum range of the given box now i can run the topo set and now i can specify my dict dictionary topo set dict dot one okay so you can see here that first it is selecting the all the faces related to this patch that is the side one and then out of those faces okay it is going to read read the 
face set F0 that has the size 250 and it is going to only source all those faces which is falling within this box. Okay, so adding all the faces with center whose center lies between this given box only those faces will be selected now and the number is only 100 here. So we can visualize this. Okay. So uh, so this is the something that has been created using the block mesh. And if I go here, so here you have to on this include sets, then it is going to include the whatever sets we have created. So you can see here that this F0 cells face set has been shown here. So let me just uh, turn off all the things and only side one and this F0. So this is let me also uh, show the messages. Okay. So if I turn off this F0, so this is the complete uh, side one, all the faces that belongs to the side one patches, this is shown here. And if I turn off this side one and only on the F0, so you can see here that only a hundred number of cells is selected within this face set. Okay. So you can see here that uh, the side one has the large number of cells and this F0 has the only few number of cells, uh, faces. Okay, sorry, sometimes I am speaking cells, so uh, please avoid that confusion. So this is how this subset works here and this uh, new works here. Okay, so remember that whatever I am doing here for the face, it will also work for the cells also. Okay. Now, uh, so let's uh, let's see uh, some of the command related to the cells. Okay. So I think you can guess here now. Okay. So what it is going to do? So it is going to create new cells. Okay, so see here, we have created the faces, we have not created the cells. So that is why this action new has been written here. And it is going to convert all the faces to the cells. Okay, cells nearer to the face set is going to select it using this command. Okay, so you can see here that and the name of the this cell set will be C0. Okay, so you can see here that this set has a name of the F0. So the F0 cell, F0 face sets will be act as a source for the this face to cell command. Okay. So let me run this command also. So now if I run topo set dict. Okay. So now you can see here that first this is happens so this is the first command where face set will be selected based on the source of the side one then from this face set uh, only 100 face has been selected and then from this 100 faces this 100 cells will be selected okay so earlier this was the face now this cells will be selected okay so let me show you then uh, you can understand Okay, so again I have to just uh, turn on this include sets and also let me show you F0 and C0. Okay, and let me just turn off other messages. Okay, so you can see here that this wall I can off also. So you can see here that earlier there was face only. Now you have the cells. Okay. Cells uh, which is attached to those faces we have selected here. This cells has been selected from 
using those phase sets okay so here you can see that uh, this are the phase set f not and from this f not we have selected some cells okay now further if you open that topo set dict okay so further this two commands is used here now i think you can guess that what is going to happen here so here uh, of course you are going to select uh, some new phase set from this uh, wall so if i open this geometry okay so it is going to select all the faces of this patch wall so it is going to select all these faces from this patch and then what we are going to uh, do so then we are taking all the cells from this wall okay so we are getting all the cells so we are converting all the faces into the cells from this walls and we are going to delete those cells which are common to the c not okay so in we have created some cells in c not and now we are creating some uh, face to cell using this command and now from this c not cells we are going to delete all those cells which we have created from this source that is the walls okay so you can guess that Uh, if I open here, complete set cells. So if I open here, you can see here that this is the wall. Okay, so this uh, this patch is the wall, and these two are the cells. So of course you can guess that all the cells which are common to the walls and this uh, cell set C not, it is going to delete. So I think uh, this. this line only the upper line of the cells will be remain here this uh, lower line cells will be deleted automatically so this is this two two command is going to do from this to put set dict dict only so uh, let me just uh, compile it fast and let me just show you so i have done here so you can see here that earlier the total cell size was 100 from this face to cell we have converted this patches uh, this faces into the cells and then we are deleting all those faces which is common to this c not and so you can see that earlier there was 100 cells now this is only 50 cells is remained and we can of course visualize this this one so you can see here that this is the only number of cells that is left here because we have deleted the other another row of uh, cells we have deleted already so this will only left so this is complete of converting face patch to face box to face and face to cells commands okay and uh, before that going to the another example let me show you that why this cells has been Uh, selected here in this tutorial case so when you go to the all run so you can see here that once topo set has been run here this cells are going to be refined mess okay so it is going to further refined using this refine hex mess command and this is applied to the this c not cells and it is going to be override so poly mess uh, structure will be override so once you select a number of cells or a number of faces you can do whatever other application external application you want to do on a given face set or a given cell set that utilities you can utilize here okay anyway the present work is the present tutorial is focusing on the topo set dict so i am going to stick to that